It's a drive time with DJ H, and I am pleased to announce that right in the studio, sat next to me now, I have got Christopher Martin. Hello, Chris. <laughs> What's up, DJ H? Hey. Um, I've been playing your jingle uh, since the last time you came to the studios, right. and uh, this um, I finally managed to get to meet you in person. Missed you at the registry. Sure. Um, spoke to Prince. Uncle Prince, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an Uncle Prince, you know? <laughs> Uncle Prince, yeah. So uh, you're in Gloucester at the moment. Sure. Um, visiting Uncle Prince? Yeah, 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 definitely visiting Uncle Prince. Prince? I, I can never come to England and not come to Gloucester. That's amazing. Uh, uh, I wish more people would say that. <laughs> um, now, we know you had a busy weekend, uh, performed on Saturday night, mm -hmm. and I believe it was your birthday on Saturday as well. Yeah, it was my birthday on Saturday. Yeah, yeah so man. happy birthday for that one. Thank you very much. Thank I've got much. something for you as well. Just bear with me a sec. Yeah. Here you go. Happy Valentine's <laughs> birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you want to check this out, listeners, get on the website, GloucesterFM.com, and you can see uh, you can see Christopher Martin in the studio right now. Uh, yeah, and you can see my gift. His gift, yeah. <laughs> it is a red heart uh, chocolate, basically, on a stick. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Valentine's baby, eh? Yeah, man. Yeah. You were, you were always going to do well being a Valentine's baby. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love her from birth, man. So, you know, that's why I would do a lot of love songs. Lots of love, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so it, it transpires, doesn't it? Um, so you had a good concert on Saturday night. Yeah, man, Saturday was crazy. Man. Saturday was was Birmingham, and um, it was lovely. The vibe was crazy. Um, my family was there. You know, um, it was a live show. You know, with live music, it, it's it's always a, a pulse that is it's kind of irresistible. You know, and and when you feel the vibration from the masses. And, and I hear the screams from the ladies and, you know, every, everything just, everything just <laughs> flows, man. Everything just flows. And the mere fact that it was my birthday made it even that more special, you know. Um, it was a joy, man. It was a joy. That's fantastic. So uh, did you have a lot of Valentine's uh, office that night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there was a lot of love. There was a lot of love. A lot love, of love and, going and, on. Yeah, and, and the ladies expressed their love in they many different their love ways, you. you know? Yeah, man. Okay, so I'm sure you received quite a few Valentine's gifts, cards, etc. Yeah, man, I got I got a lot of gifts, like, um, based on the fact I'm not in Jamaica right now, I have my gifts piled up waiting on me to reach Yeah. Me, you know, but um, with the various social media networks you know you could see gifts via that like yeah. twitter and instagram and all that, yeah, and facebook so the question is you received a lot did you send many gifts out or is that a secret for valentine's day yeah i would say i sent out wishes yeah but physical physical gifts no <laughs> <laughs> but but the intangible ones yeah definitely. yeah intangible ones yeah, man, I uh, are you gonna when you return to jamaica are you gonna send out the the physical ones there or yeah to, 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 to the ones who are deserving the ones who are deserving yes man. fantastic right you've got a, a new single out now called uh stepping razor we've been mm -hmm. playing that one a lot i really like that tune as well yeah, man, yeah, man, really that's, good that song is doing very well mm. yeah, man, that song's doing very it's well. getting a lot of airplay in the uk yeah. um it's on all the all the big playlists for the radio stations and stuff definitely mm. definitely i see that and i'm when, um, when i went to radio one it was solid um i did bbc one extra you know it did all, all the stations that are, are driving reggae music just like gfm you know it, it it's it's a staple in the set list right now so i'm blessed man it's a, it's a blessing we give thanks um i think the strange thing in the uk reggae music is really really popular there's a massive underground scene of it however in terms of charting uk top 40 success it's really difficult to get into the uk top I 40 see. and i believe that you've done this haven't you once, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've done it. <laughs> yeah, you've done it. Um, and, and I can remember when you hit the UK 40 thinking that's... Because we all know fantastic reggae songs come out, they get a lot of airplay, but they never actually chart, and True. you did it. So, that you know, that's a really yeah. defining yeah, that moment feel, for you. Yeah, I was really proud of yeah. that. You know, it, it, it really meant a lot to me. And it goes to show that, you know, um, whenever you do good music or whenever you do something that you really feel good was about. Was it Cheetah's Prayer? That, yeah, Cheetah's yeah, Prayer. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prayer. yeah. yeah man, it, it, it was a great feeling for me, man. It was, it was, it was awesome, actually. Mm. You know, for me to find one adjective to tell you how I felt at that point in time, I'd be lying. You know, it, it yeah, was just bubbly. It, was bubbly, it, it, it made me because we've been playing it um, on the radio, and we do that, and we play stuff, and we think, yeah, it's great, but the chance of it actually reaching the yeah. UK top forty, and when that did, I thought, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic.
the hour, so, definitely. Well done on that one. Um, we've got a programme in the UK called The Voice. Right. Um, of course, you came, uh, you, you started off in Jamaica. Um, what's the Jamaican Digicel, isn't it? It's yeah, like Digicel, the X Factor Rising here. Stars, yeah, Rising it's Stars. Yeah, man, definitely. And this was your big career launch. Yeah. Um, now, The Voice is certainly in the UK that we do. Existing singers can take part. We have people come from all kinds of bands and stuff. And it's the, I don't know if you've watched it, it's the one where they sit, where they t basically, they don't, um, you've got like Tom Jones, Rita Ora on it, um, a few others, and they basically, Basically, t you have to turn around so you don't see who's performing. You don't know who it is. Okay, All so you literally hear, hear is the voice. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, so I was going to ask you, what about you for the voice? Me for the voice? Nah. I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the, no. The, the voice for the UK? Uh, I don't think to so. Get, no. Ah, no. Nah. <laughs> well, Tessa and Chin, she did the voice in, in America and she won the voice in America. She did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was awesome, you know? That was awesome, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was good for reggae music. That was good for Tessa and Chin and, and for Jamaica as well. Yeah. But as it relates to myself, I don't I don't think, like, um, I don't think that is for me personally. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I know. I was only just there. I know. I was I just, know, I just know. kidding. Just I kidding. I just want you in the UK top 40. That's all I'm trying <laughs> to do. I keep playing your songs. Uh, we got there once. Um, so what would you say um, in the last, in the last, well, since your career began, what's one of your proudest moments? Um, well, for, for, for every chance I get to be on stage, I'm proud. And, you know, I can't, I can't have like one defining moment when I said this is it. <laughs> Um, well, probably my first time going to Africa. Yeah. You know, my first time going to Africa. Because being Jamaican, and, you know, you always hear about we're Africans and, you know, the motherland and, you know. So the yeah. first time I went to the motherland, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. It was like the return of the king, you know. Yeah. They, like, you know, they, 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 they treat you in a kingly character. You know, and it, it was awesome for me when I saw the thousands of people came out to see my show and, and to see me perform. You know, it, it just made me realize how big a deal I am, you know, and how big a deal the music is, and the music kicks and, 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 and conquers borders. There are no boundaries to reggae music, or to music per se. No yeah. genre is, is, is dedicated. You understand my message? So, it, that, that is one of the defining moments, but as it relates to, like, for my entire career, every chance I get to be on stage, I'm proud about that. So, you know, I treat each performance like it's my last one. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So at any point in time, someone comes to my performance for the first time, they can say, yeah, I will leave a lasting impression. And that's really nice you said that as well. And, that, yeah, you man. know, the fact that you enjoy the live stuff as opposed to, you know, the studio stuff. Because other artists, you know, they would say it the other way around yeah. and stuff. And that, you yeah. know, that's really, really good. Keeping Respect. it Respect. keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real. Is it all right to call you Chris? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I didn't man. know whether you preferred to be Christopher. No, Chris, Chris is, is fine. fine. <laughs> uh, okay, brilliant. So uh, you've just uh, done some UK dates performed in uh, London, Manchester, and Birmingham. Um, which was your favourite gig out of the three? I loved all of them. All of them. Yeah, man. All of them brought their own <laughs> vibe to it, you know. Brilliant. Yeah, man. All of them brought their own vibe. Manchester part is different from Birmingham. And Birmingham part is different from Manchester and London. So, it, it it was all a great vibe overall. So you did North, South, and Midlands. You did yeah. a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and you're going to be in, uh, embarking on a European tour. Yeah, definitely. W when does that start? Um, I think it starts in April, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that will be the winter tour before the summer festivals. So yeah. I go back for the summer festivals, like the summer jam, the KMC, the Rotterdam, you know. Yeah, we'll go back for that in the summer. So you're going to be going home for summer then? We, we, um, no, I, I do the, the, the winter part first, <laughs> or what we call it, the spring spring one yeah. in April. Yeah. Go back home. And yeah. Then go back to Europe for the summer festivals. Ah, yeah. oh yeah, you return back then yeah. again. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, man. So, uh, we know you're big in the UK, uh, so all over Europe then. So uh, yeah, yeah. It's what good. would you What would you say out of the European countries? What What ones in particular have you got quite a big fan base that surprises you? Um, well, to say it surprises me, I, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. <laughs> you know, because because I, I I put so much into my music, you know, and um, I just feel like everything that's happening right now is just the grace of the Almighty blessing me. Yeah. You know, so so whenever we go somewhere and I see the reaction from the people. I wouldn't say I feel like it's expected, but I feel like I've worked for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, but places like Scandinavia, man, I'm, I'm like Sweden and, and, and um, Poland, yeah, do, I have a big fan base there. Do you? Uh, Gosh, yeah. In, in Germany. Yeah. You know, so 
I, to, to really pinpoint like specific places yeah. in the EU it would be it would be unfair. That's really good though you to know? get a crossover to some yeah, of those man. countries. It's awesome, yeah, man. It's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, man, it's awesome. So we're just working, man. Right. Well, in the UK at the moment, in Gloucester, it's half term this week. Um, right. You've seen your, your uh, young cousins were yeah. in the studio. Uh, we have to give them a shout out. What were their names? Definitely, man. Yeah, yeah. Ramar. Ramar. Then a Nelly, you don't know. Romar and Nelly. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> My little cousin, you know? <laughs> bit, bit, big up, but yeah. Big up to those. Yeah, <laughs> Chris's definitely. cousins. Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, yeah, they were in the studio. It's half term, so a uh, lot of kids are off at the moment listening in. Sure. And uh, when I read up a little bit about you, um, very interested to read um, how importantly that you took um, your education as well as the music business. Yes, man, definitely, definitely. And I went to college while I was, I was doing music. I know, I yeah. saw this, and am I, I correct in thinking that you've got a finance degree? Yeah, a degree in finance. Yeah. And, uh, minor and in human resource management. I know, and these were, you'd already achieved success, hadn't you, musically? Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. So, well done on those. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, any any sort of plans then to be like a... A nine to fiver? No, or? not a nine to fiver, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Invest in something or yeah, business definitely. dreams. Yeah, man, definitely, yeah. definitely. We, we, we have to go down that route of entrepreneurship. Yeah, yeah, man, definitely. At the end of the day, I don't feel like I want to sing until I'm fifty. <laughs> you know, um, you know, the, the aim is to, to to have the music that lives on forever, longevity. You know, so even when I'm not singing, the music is still playing. Ah, you know, and, and and my children and their children, yep. they can come and say, yeah, Christopher Martin. You understand? But um, at the end of the day, yeah, definitely entrepreneurship. We want to venture into into some form of business, something that can maintain, and after maintaining, it can yield profits. You know, so. So what would your advice to be if there's sort of teenagers out there now that are aspiring to make it in the music business? What would your number one bit of advice be for them? Um. Well. Definitely, I would have to tell them, you know, um, you have to put the Almighty first at all times, you know, and you have to know what you're about, know what you really want. You know, yeah. if, if you really want to the music, then put your best foot forward at all times and, 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 and definitely have to believe in yourself and you have to be able to take criticism, constructive criticism at least, you know, and, and you have to have people around you to give you that type of criticism, not a bug of people who are going to say yes to everything you do, you know, and, um, I just feel like you know once you believe in yourself and and do this do this for love, not for material gain and and for financial gain and all of that. All that will come. Would you advise them like you did to sort of have a backup plan as well? Because, it's always it's always yeah. good to have a backup plan. So obviously you had a ground in an education, you carried mm -hmm. on getting a degree. So if those things didn't work out, you still had something to fall back on. Definitely, but yeah. that but I never ever had it in my mind that this would not work out. <laughs> <laughs> I never had that in my mind. You know, I, I I just wanted to be like, um, for for lack of better terms, really smart. That's why it did work out. You see, <laughs> if you believe something will work out, it will do. Yeah. Uh, we've just had a message coming through saying keep him talking. He's lovely. So <laughs> I think they like your voice. Yeah, man, much love. And uh, talking of your voice, I don't know whether you're going to do this or not, but. Um, my boss, Derek, uh, DC, the guy that sort of founded this uh, radio station, said, any chance, H, that you can see if Chris will sing for you a little bit through the mic? <laughs> <laughs> big up, Derek. Big up, Derek, and big up, big up, Shereen as well, you know what I mean? But yeah, at some point in time, I would like to break out in music. I would like to break out in songs. So yeah. at any point in time, it can happen. You know? Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Well, I'll put this one on next because uh, this... I know it's probably a lot of people's favourite, but this is my favourite track of yours. Uh, I just love the lyrics on it. Um, it is the one that hit the UK top forty. It's Cheetah's Prayer. So we'll stick this one on, and then you can have a th you can have a think while this is off air about what you'd like to sing to me, if that's all right. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> or, or anyone else out there that's listening. It doesn't need to be specifically to me. GFM ninety six point six. Chris Martin there. Cheetahs a prayer. Back to the interview uh, with Chris, and uh, we've got Step and Razor, which we played for you earlier. That's the latest single. Now uh, we've got uh, that one is uh, that one's out at the moment to download from all the normal sources. Like uh, you can get it on Amazon, iTunes, etc. Uh, Chris, am I right in thinking that the EP is out uh, end of this month, uh, end of February? Um, no, the video, the video for Stepping Razors. Sorry, the videos yeah. for Stepping Razors out the end of this month, and yeah. then you've got an EP out in, in March. March. Yeah. 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 Uh, any plans for an album? Yeah, the album, is, the album is slated to come out in May, actually. In May? Yeah, just Ooh. before the summer. 
Yeah. Yeah. Man. So around the time of your uh, European tour, yeah. still signed to VP Records. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah, and happy there. Yeah, man. Everything is good, man. Good. Everything good. 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 Yeah. Um. Right. So uh, <laughs> this singing thing. Have you had a thought about it yet? Have you had a thought about anything that you you might want to sing to me or the GFM listeners? Well, I have, I have a new song that will come out very soon. Um, called Sweet Sweet Love. Yeah. That I'm really excited about. So um, I can I can give them a sneak preview of that. Yeah. That would be very good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes like this. It's called Sweet Sweet Love for yeah. beautiful ladies. For my lovely lady DJ H. And all beautiful ladies listening up right now. Okay, it goes like this. <clears throat> Girl, take a minute and catch your breath. And I'll take that minute to wipe my sweat. It's only the beginning. We ain't halfway yet. If you think that you can handle me, place your bet. You're gonna lose, and all your treasure will be mine for sure. My love's a cruise to a place you've never been before. And ooh, ooh the prize is satisfaction guaranteed when you choose to give yourself to me, cause I do. Love to baby Make sweet, 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 sweet love to you I do baby Love to uh, Make sweet, 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 sweet love to you Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah Sweet, sweet love. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless. That was absolutely beautiful. I'm melting here. Thank Abs you so much. Melted. And we've got Prince sat in the corner of the studio. Uncle Prince uh, just sort of sat there, really cool, on his phone. Chilling. Chilling, texting away. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've just... <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, you're welcome. So have you been rehearsing that, or does it... No, you know, I, you know it's, yeah. it's, it's just music, man. It's just music. How do, you, how do you get a voice that, that sounds like that? <laughs> the know. gift from God? Yeah, I think my, well, my dad can sing, you know. My dad can sing and, and my mother can sing, so I think it's a nice blend right there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I feel so special right now. <laughs> so, so special. Um, <laughs> now, I know you're a busy man with lots to do. Um, is there anything that you'd like to sort of say to anybody before you go or anything that you'd like to talk about that we haven't covered? Um. Well... You know, um, well, I, well, I think you covered everything actually. But what mm. I would love to do is, I would just love to everyone who's listening that has been supporting me over the years. I would just love to tell them thanks for all the love, thanks for all the support. You know, um, without you, this movement, which is Christopher Martin, would not be possible. You understand? And I want to say enough respect goes out to GFM and to all the many different DJs, yourself. You know. Um, like Fred Lux, you know. Oh, yeah. Fred Lux, yeah. yeah. Man. yeah man, Me and Fred Lux love you. We have many a conversation yeah, about man. this. That's my general, <laughs> man. You know? So, so you know, yeah. we, we just have to give thanks for all the support and all the love at the end of the day, you know. Um, without you, it wouldn't be possible, man. You know? to, all, to all the people listening right now, thank you very much. You know, I'm, I'm, who I big up again, Uncle? I have to big up Ivan, right? I'm Ledge. I have to big up Ledge, right? Yes. Yeah, man, you see me. Who else I have to big up? TJ. TJ. Yes. Yeah, you know, I have to big up all the bar by them as well. Them up on the chill spot right now. And, um, you know, it, 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 just as I said, not, not love, man. What if I love, what if I love, and to all the beautiful ladies, Christopher Martin, I'll be singing for you. you know, <laughs> I will never stop. I will never stop. I will never stop. <laughs> yeah, you, um, as soon as I get out of the studio, my Facebook post is going to be Christopher Martin sung to me in definitely. the studio. Definitely. I definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> and when that single comes out, I know a lot of stuff comes out digitally now. I'm going to find a hard copy of it and I'm going to. Give it to Prince to get you to sign next I time you're here. Will. I definitely <laughs> will. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that was such a pleasure. I've got one. Can I squeeze a quick one in? My, I'm going to be a bridesmaid tomorrow at a wedding. My friends are getting married. Definitely. Can you can you wish them the best? It's uh, Gail and John getting married in Gloucester tomorrow. Gail and John. Yeah. And yeah, to Gail and John, um, I wish you a lifetime of happiness. Um, and on your on your wedding day tomorrow. Uh, I just wish you all the best. I hope that the sun comes out in its glory and um, you just have a wonderful, wonderful wedding. And for the days and the years to come after, just a lot of love, a lot of happiness. 
and a lot of children. <laughs> there's, there's one already. <laughs> there you go. So, so, so we're going for that perfect number seven. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. It's it been was. an absolute pleasure. Uh, gonna sort of uh, play out now with Chill Spot, if that's all right with you. Some I like days this are the one. Week bad days. Yeah, yeah. GFM, we are big up the car. Wow. Some days are the week <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. It's an it's absolute pleasure. pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Feel like give up, give up, show in the towel and give up.